What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we're going to check out the new power support screen protectors for the Touch Bar MacBook Pros. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the MacBook and give you guys my quick in-depth review. Support is famous for their anti-glare iPhone screen protectors and now they have brought those screen protectors to the MacBook line. They are available in crystal clear and anti-glare models for both the 13 and 15 inch touch bar MacBook Pros and are available now off of Power Support's website. So the screen protectors do come in your fancy power support packaging here and these screen protectors are made in Japan so they are very high quality as with most stuff coming out of that country. We're going to check out the anti-glare screen protector first. To open this up, we just have to pull this tab here and sliding this out, we have the screen protector here. Looks like we also have a microfiber cloth and that is pretty much it. Now when you're removing the screen protector, be careful because this is such a large screen protector that you don't want to damage it. Alright, so next we're going to install the screen protector. Now the first thing you want to do before you install the screen protector is to ensure that the screen on your MacBook is clean, free of dust, debris, fingerprints, and the easiest way to remove little specks of dust particles and whatnot is to use 3M tape to stick them off. So first off, the aesthetics. Well, compared to the super slick glass display, this matte finish looks really nice on the MacBook Pros. It gives it a much more professional, cleaner look to it than the reflective, shiny uh, glass display that it originally had. Now, when we fire up the screen here, the first thing you will notice is that there is no reflection coming off the screen. That's obviously why it's called an anti-glare screen protector. These matte finishes disperses the light so you don't get that mirror-like look. With all these computer manufacturers pushing out super slick glass displays, not just Apple, but like HP, Dell, and all of them, it kind of makes you miss the matte displays that used to be on these laptops back in the day. So here's a look at the screen when we're facing pretty much right at it. And you can see here, there is no reflection or any glare. And here's what it looks like with the screen off. You can see once again, there is pretty much 99% no glare. Now the biggest question you guys are probably wondering is, yes, the anti glare looks nice and it works, but how does it affect the screen quality of the display? Now, as I mentioned with many anti-glare screen protectors, not just power support, but of any kind, yes, anti-glare screen protectors do reduce the quality of the display a little bit. So here is a closer look at the screen here. And again, it's hard to tell, particularly because I don't have a macro lens for my DSLR, but basically the best way I could describe it is it's an ever so slight, subtle, staticky effect on the entire screen, most notable on the whites. But again, it's really subtle. It's nothing that's going to ruin the experience of the display, but just wanted to mention that it is there. In terms of how well the screen protector is cut out, I'd probably say there's like one millimeter space around the entire border of the screen protector here. And that's pretty much there to give you a little bit of wiggle room when you're installing the screen protector. The only other cutout on the screen protector is of course one for the camera here. And there are light sensors behind the screen protector here, but they are unaffected by the anti glare finish. So overall guys, the anti glare screen protector from Power Support is a pretty nice looking screen protector once it's on the MacBook. Gives it a much more cleaner, professional look and helps reduce glare considerably. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about this screen protector, as I mentioned earlier, the yes, there is a small amount of staticky effect on the screen, particularly noticeable on the whites. But again, it's not something that's going to impede your experience. But yes, there is a slight bit of screen degradation because of the anti glare finish. In the end, though, if glare is something that bothers your eyes or if you just want a nice, clean matte finish on your screen, you definitely can't go wrong with the power support anti glare screen protector. Now we're going to move on to the power support crystal clear screen protector and we're going to skip the installation part just to speed things up. So through the magic of YouTube, all right, so here is the crystal clear screen protector from Power Support. And the first two things you guys will probably notice with the screen protector is that it maintains the glossy look of the map books for those of you who like that. But also there is quite a bit of reflection. So my initial impressions on the crystal clear screen protector from Power Support is that first off, two advantages. It does give you that glossy look, as I mentioned, if you want to preserve that look of the MacBook Pros. But the biggest thing for me is that it also maintains the quality of the retina display without disrupting it or affecting it in any way. And basically in comparison to the anti glare screen protector, which has a slight static effect to it, the crystal clear screen protector does not. Now there are disadvantages with the crystal clear screen protector. And the first obvious one is that you do have quite a bit of reflection and glare coming off the screen protector. 
And that does occur for two reasons. First off, it is a glossy finish, so it is going to have some mirror-like properties to it, but also you're covering up Apple's anti-reflective coating. So in the end, which screen protector is better? Well, as you guys saw throughout this video, both screen protectors have their advantages and disadvantages. With an anti-glare screen protector, you do pretty much cut out the glare altogether, and you have a nice clean matte display. In addition, because it is a matte finish, it also helps reduce fingerprints. The disadvantage though is that there is a slight static effect caused by the screen protector. With a crystal clear screen protector, you retain the quality of the display and also retain that glossy look of the MacBook. The downside with the screen protector is you're going to have glare and because it's a glossy finish, it also will attract a bit more dust and debris. In the end, you can't go wrong with either one. Both will protect your screen from scratches and fingerprints, and the best way to choose is whether you want to reduce glare or if you just want to protect the screen. For those of you wondering about my personal preference, I do prefer the Crystal Clear just because it maintains the quality and look of the Retina display. And as someone who likes accessories that don't hide the MacBook or change the look of it, the Crystal Clear display is the way to go for me. In comparison to other brands I reviewed, which is only two, it was that crystal clear screen protector I reviewed earlier this year, as well as the Moshi iVisor screen protector. And I do have to say, I do prefer power support screen protectors. In comparison to the Moshi iVisor I reviewed, that screen protector was super easy to install, but the reason it was easy to install is because the whole screen protector didn't adhere to the display of the MacBook. It only stuck on with the borders. But the power support models here, they fully adhere to the screen, which although it's a little bit more tedious to install, you can't negate the end result is that they do look much better. And although I really can't show you guys on camera, that static effect I told you guys about, which the Moshi one is an anti glare one as well, the power support one didn't have it as bad because the Moshi one didn't adhere to the screen, whereas the power support one did, and therefore it reduced that effect a little bit better. In conclusion, guys, if you're looking for a screen protector for your brand new Touch Bar MacBook Pro, you definitely can't go wrong with the power support anti clear and crystal clear screen protectors. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments about these screen protectors, ask away in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.